So you want to make yourself a Twitter background, then you're in the right place. Watch this video and you should be doing it really fine. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to have a Photoshop. If you don't have one, you can just watch the other video that I am going to be hopefully making it next week on how to use GIMP, which is a free program. And now let's go to that Photoshop. I have a really old version of it and whatever. Just open the photo that I gave you and the link should be in the description. After that, you have here your stupid little, you know, um, lengths and widths and all these stuff. Okay, so we're going to be, for example, taking the first part of it, which is going to be here. Um, I'm pretty much just going to get myself a um, what? Okay, I'm going to be typing in here, for example, Bluebird. I'm going to be selecting the vertical tab tool, Blue Bird. Okay, like that. And let's put our stupid little punky thing, okay. Uh, well, and control A to select them. Just I have to select the font that I like a lot, which is this one, and put it over here. And for sure I'm going to be getting rid of this background, which is red, and this is not the color of my bluebird. So yeah, we're going to be selecting it. Okay, gray, some kind of gray you can say, and leave bird blue. This is what I always do. Okay, and now let's select ourselves a character from the dudes that I make walk through them. Let's, for example, select, uh, well, let's select the Call of Duty Ghosts dude, because I'm going to be making Call of Duty Ghosts hopefully walk through, uh, well, I think maybe next week or this Thursday I press on this by using the magnifying tool and then I just cut this part because I did not think that it was really good okay I can put it whatever the hell I want let's say I want it over here alright and now I'm going to add some effects it will not help a lot but yeah I'm gonna go to truck and Selected black as usual. This is what I always do and um, Select the pixels 5. I don't know, but I just like them like that. And then I'm gonna be moving it a little Downward after that I'm gonna be closing this stupid one opening another character who is link and Now let's select that tool again, which is the magnetic tool or magic wand tool now um this is locked, so I have to duplicate the layer and then just delete this one. And after that, after we selected it, just press on delete. It should be a PNG or the file that you want. Move it in here. And let's, for example, put it over here. Okay. After that, what I want you to do is that, well, we want to have who. Um, well, let's put Master Chief. Yeah, um, I, I think this is a really pretty easy to roll, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. Hopefully. And if you have any problems, just ask me down in the comments below. And yo, delete this part, delete this part. As I told you in the Legend of Zelda, this dude, which we were just making before, Link. Okay. Pretty good until now. He's really huge, I know that, so you're gonna be... Um, checking on the bonding box and moving him until we get ourselves a good one. Okay, and well, I think I should put him over here. And uh, well, or maybe I'll just you know make him a little bit smaller and putting him down in here. Okay, and then now I want to move the Call of Duty Ghosts dude and make him go a little bit 
to where? Okay, and here, for example. Uh, well, okay. Anyways, we'll leave him as he where he was, and now um, we're going to open open uh, Altair. He's pretty much cut it. He's PNG format, so I'm not going to be having any troubles with him. Just make him a little bit larger and putting him just under Link. Okay, now let's move Link a little bit over here. So, yep. Okay, now let's remove his legs from our dude. Okay, pretty good thing. Okay, what done that is that I selected this one, which is one of those those dudes who are having blur and then I just open or made the pixels to 120 so it will be a lot better also this is what we're gonna be doing with the Call of Duty dude which we're gonna be doing right now is like this and then we're gonna be trying no it will not work okay and now what that's pretty much it no uh, well let's see um, well we what also what else should we do okay maybe I should put this dude of the Star Force in here so if somebody is having a big computer he can see some cooler stuffs okay now um, well let's cut those parts by selecting them and yeah pretty, pretty cool until now we're moving good and okay Okay, so now, after we finish on, you know, cutting him and like that, we want to now enlarge him, and that's a pretty easy thing also. Uh, um, well, let's just do it a little bit like that. And put him um, lonely in here. And let's large him, make him larger a little bit. As I done um, much you know, effort in the uh, Mega Man walkthrough because I made it on 100% fall walkthrough one so it was a hard thing for me to do and now let's select the Lego Batman also for the let's put him in here it's a good thing actually and yeah that's it I don't think I'll be doing much other than that and now let's put the Twitter and Facebook or not I'm not gonna be doing that I think so yeah well what else nothing okay now what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be deleting this background that I gave you earlier okay like that and then just let's select the layer one which we have to start with it I think in any project we do if we don't have it just press on this and make a new layer and yep Okay, yeah, as you can see, we duplicated the layer and we are having a new one. Or you can just do anything like Control and N. No, <laughs> okay. Anyways, now let's select this tool, which is paint, and we're gonna be doing it with the gradient tool and select ourselves um, one of those stupid things. I prefer this one. No, this one, yeah, hopefully. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay. Uh, pretty much good, and I think because it's making contrast with my normal one. Okay, now let's add some other effects like you know shadows and all these stuff. So we're gonna be selecting. Oh damn. Okay. Sorry about this guy. Oh sh. Okay. Man, okay, we're gonna be pressing right click, planning options, and we're gonna be doing those steps for every character. Drop shadow, and I'm gonna be doing it 15, and ha here, uh, well, let's try like that. Size, um, 10, okay, and then 
now let's make it look a lot better by doing at 60 here yeah okay now we're gonna be doing those steps for every other one so let's do it Okay, now we're going to be applying also stroke to every one of the stuff that we made um, in here. And we're going to be selecting them all to be black. And okay, not that big. Three is good. And okay, I'm going to be doing it for all those characters. So yeah. Alright, so now you have your stupid little doobie cool background done and what you're going to be doing now is just pretty much save it and let's just because you know the Twitter wants like 5 megabytes so we're going to be saving it as JPEG, this is what I like to call it but a lot of other people like to call it JPEG and uh, anyways um, now let's say call it, let's call it Twitter what the hell? Background. And yeah, okay. Anyways. <laughs> and let's select it on maximum because, anyways, it's not gonna be that big at all. And it will just save. Okay, let's not do any of those. Okay, it's now done. And as you can see, it's a pretty cool one. Okay, now we'll, go we'll just have to upload it to you, um, Twitter. And it should be really fine. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like and a good comment. And also subscribe to my channel. That helps a lot because I'm going to be making Call of Duty Ghosts hopefully this Thursday. 100% um, pork files. So yeah. See you guys next time. Goodbye.